Hi everyone, here's our math challenge for today. Now, let's start with these two congruent squares. On the overlapping region, let's draw a square that is tangent to all sides of the square. Now, our goal here is to find the area of this circle shaded in blue. Given that the length of the side of this square must be equal to 10 centimeters. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video right now. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. To answer this problem, we will use one concept. If we have any right triangle with a side length of A, B, and C, wherein C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the legs of this right triangle, and we draw a circle inside of it, it follows that the length of the radius of this circle must be equal to A plus B minus C all over 2. This is not hard to prove. Now, let's prove this result very quick. To do that, let's draw the radius of this circle like this, such that this radius is perpendicular to the side of this triangle. Now, let R be the radius of the circle. It follows that all of this side must be equal to R. Now, now on the bottom part, the total length of this side must be A. Therefore, this segment must be equal to A minus R. Now, on the left part, if this is R and the total length of this side must be B, therefore, this remaining segment must be B minus R. Now, take note that if we have two tangent lines which meet at the same point outside of the circle, therefore, the two tangent segments are said to be equal in length. Therefore, if this is A minus R, and this is B minus R, this is also A minus R, and this is B minus R. Also take note that the total length of the hypotenuse must be equal to side C. Therefore, we can say that side C must be equal to the sum of A minus R and B minus R. Now at this point, let's combine like terms. Negative R minus R will give us negative 2R. Now, add 2R on both sides and subtract C on both sides and we get 2R equals A plus B minus C. Divide both sides by 2 and we get that the value of R must be equal to A plus B minus C all over 2. Therefore, we can use this result to answer our problem. To do that, take note that the second square is tilted 45 degrees. Therefore, if we extend this side, we create a right triangle like this. Now, since we have a right triangle and a circle, we can now find the radius of the circle. So, let's focus on the triangle and the circle. Now, take note that this is the diagonal of the square. Therefore, these two angles must be 45 degrees and the length of the side of this square must be equal to 10 centimeters. Now, since it is a 45-45-90 right triangle, we can easily find the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle because the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle or the diagonal of the square must be equal to the length of the side of the square multiplied by the square root of 2. Therefore, the hypotenuse or the diagonal of this right triangle must be equal to 10 times square root of 2 centimeters. Therefore, the radius of the circle inside of it must be equal to 10 plus 10 minus 10 square root of 2 divided by 2. Now simplify, 10 plus 10 is 20, so we have 20 minus 10 times square root of 2 divided by 2. Again simplify, we get that the value of r must be equal to 10 minus 5 times square root of 2. Now, we can now find the area of the blue region or the area of the circle, which is equal to pi r squared. We know the value of r, which is equal to 10 minus 5 times square root of 2. So we have the area of the circle must be equal to pi multiplied by 10 minus 5 times square root of 2 squared. Now let's square this term. 
If we do that, we get 100 minus 100 times square root of 2 plus 50. 100 plus 50 will give us 150. Let's put this pi after the number. Therefore, the area of this circle shaded in blue must be equal to 150 minus 100 times square root of 2 pi square centimeters. And as always, we're done.